Frame and Fit Editor is where you'll go to edit how your media sits within the frame of your video. Elements like its position on screen, its size, rotation and how it moves around are all controlled here, so it's likely you'll work with this clip editor for every LumaFusion project you work in. In this video we're going to explore how you can adjust the frame and fit of your clips using the set attributes in the control stack. At the top here we have four icons. You can flip your media horizontally, rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees at a time, reset all frame and fit changes you make and save any edits to the frame and fit of your clip as a motion preset. Moving down to the tabs of our control stack now, the fit mode is active when the aspect ratio of your project is different than the aspect ratio of your source media. As these icons suggest, the fit mode determines how the media fills the frame to be displayed in the preview. You can select your preference here or you can set a default for fit mode in the help and settings menu under clip defaults. Underneath fit mode on the control stack here we have the option to crop our media from the left, top, right or bottom edges of the image. Use the sliders to adjust each edge and the arrows for specific edits or drag the icons on the yellow box to make rough adjustments in the preview. Here you can also keep the crop size but drag in the centre to move the cropping box around the frame, altering which parts of your media are seen. The corner radius slider crops your media from all four edges simultaneously, which enables you to change the shape of your media to your desired look, while the edge softness slider here can soften the edges for a less sharp appearance. This invert toggle at the bottom will invert any changes you've made to the cropping of your media, enabling you to create a blank space within your clip, using it as a border to see through to the layer beneath on the timeline. The position, size and rotation of your media can either be adjusted with the sliders in the control group or gestures in the preview. At the bottom of the control stack we can access blending to change not only the opacity of our clips but to also apply a blend mode. Blend modes compare the chrominance, luminance or opacity of the selected media with the imagery on the layer below on the timeline and reacts to that comparison based on the mode you select. You can use these blend modes to create interesting effects throughout an entire clip or use keyframes to alter the strength of the blend mode as your clip plays out.